question seven is another proof. So if you were a student who learnt your proofs for this exam, it would have been really good. But if you didn't, oh man, it would have sucked. <laughs> so quite a lot of proofs in this exam. Well, this is the second one already. So we're going to prove the theorem that states that this angle is always double this angle over here. So what we do is we do a little construction. So I'm going to say construct um, line OP. So let's do a little construction there, OP. And then we'll just say uh, let APO, angle APO, equal to X. And we'll also let O, well, let's go BPO. Let's call that Y. So what I mean here is we call this X and we call this Y. Now, what you should identify is that this is a isosceles triangle where the two radii are going to be the same. And so that means that this angle down here would also be X, but we need to show them that. So what we could say is that OP is equal to OA, and that's because of radii. And so we can say, therefore, um, angle A would also be equal to angle A, or equal to X, because of angles opposite equal, or usually teachers actually say equal like that, sides. But if you want to say equal here, it doesn't really matter. So angles opposite equal sides. So that means that is X. And then we're going to do the same for Y. We're going to say that OP is also equal to OB. It's also because of radii. And then we'll say the same thing. We'll say that therefore angle B is equal to Y. And that's also because of angles opposite, um, I'm just going to go like this, equal sides. So this is Y. Then what we do is we use sum of angles in the triangle to calculate um, this angle here. So we can say that angle A, O, P is going to be equal to 180 minus X minus X. And that's just because of sum of the angles in a triangle. And so we can say that A, O, P is equal to 180 minus 2X. Now we're going to do the same for, or well, let's quickly fill this in as 180 minus 2x, and then we're going to do the same for this one. So we're going to say angle B, O, P is equal to 180 minus Y minus Y, and that's also sum angles of a triangle. And so we can say that angle B, O, P is equal to 180 minus 2Y. So let's fill that in, 180 minus 2Y. Okay, so what we now do is we use angles around a point, so all of this, to try work out this angle over here. So that's AOB. Means that angle AOB is equal to 360 minus, then in brackets, 180 minus 2y minus, in brackets, 180 minus 2x. And that's just because of angles around a point. And so if you had to eventually go calculate this, you would find that AOB is going to be equal to 2x plus 2y because the 360 cancels the 180 and the 180. And then we can take out a common factor of 2, and then you're left with x plus y. Now look at this, guys. We're saying that angle AOB, which is this one, is equal to 2 times x plus y. But if you look at the top here, this whole angle is x plus y, because it's x and a y, so it's x plus y. And what we're now saying is that this angle is 2 of those. And so we've actually proven the theorem. And so we can finish this off by saying, therefore, AOB is 2 times APO.